Hello again. As you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy. Today's class is on resetting a Windows password. So a client comes to you and says they forgot what their Windows password is, and they cannot get into their computer. Now we are going to be talking about resetting uh, the password, not recovering the password. This is two entirely different things. Resetting the password means we go in and we change the password from whatever it was, we don't know what it was, to a new password uh, that hopefully they will be able to remember. Of course, recovering a password would actually be going in and finding out what the original password uh, was. How Windows is set up, uh, you, you can't really do that. I don't know any software that does real password recovery on Windows. Basically, you're stuck with resetting a password. Uh, by and large, this is fine for 99.999% of the people out there. The one thing that you have to be careful about, though, is if you're using Windows encrypted file system, so this means you or your client is actually encrypting the files on that hard drive using the built-in uh, Windows encryption service, the key for that cryptography is based on the password. So if you reset the password in the computer to a new password, you will be able to get into the user account, but you will not be able to, to access any of the encrypted data on it. So very, 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 very few people actually use uh, Windows encryption, but just in case your client does, realize that until they change their password back to whatever it originally was, they will not be able to get to their encrypted data. So they'll be able to log on to the computer, they'll be able to access any unencrypted files or pictures or any of that, but let's say they, they encrypted where QuickBooks is kept. If they encrypted that, they can only access that once they go back to their original password. So that, that is the, uh, the one, one be very careful uh, about with this. Of course, uh, using the, the reset CD, what we're going to show you today, it does go into the registry and does muck about with stuff, so you can have problems. This can possibly have disastrous consequences. Usually it's fine, 99.99% of the time it's completely 100% okay, but of course you're mucking about with the registry, so it's Windows, you know, anything bad can happen. I would suggest before you do the, the whole password reset procedure that I will show you today, that you try to log into the computer under safe mode and see if the administrator account has a password. Many times people do not actually put passwords on the administrator account. So while the, the computer is booting up, if you press F8 uh, a couple of times, you'll go and you'll have the option to go into something called safe mode. If you go into safe mode, you'll be able to log in as the administrator, even on one of the home operating systems. When you do, try to log in as the administrator with blank password, no password whatsoever. If you can, then you can just go to the normal user control panel and change the password, whatever, uh, what the user that you have to whatever you want. This is a better way of trying to change your password than using this, this reset tool just because you know, that's the proper way. Uh, nothing bad will probably happen if you do that, whereas if you use a reset tool, you know, there, there's possibilities things could go a, a little haywire. So uh, give me one second, I need to do a couple of things, and then we're gonna come back, I'm gonna talk about the different types of software you can use uh, for resetting a Windows password, and then we'll actually go into a demonstration and show you how it's done. So the software that we are going to use today to, to reset the password on this uh, Windows Vista laptop over here is something called, this is a mouthful, NT Offline Password and Registry Editor. That's the name of the program. You can go to a website, uh, we have the link down on our, in our, on our notes, and you can download it uh, from the website, or it is actually a component of something called the Ultimate Boot CD, which is this, uh, again, this open source free CD uh, that you can download and it has lots and lots and lots of tools on it. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're, today we're just going to use this tool and this tool only. We're not using that Ultimate uh, Boot CD. This is open source. Uh, it works very effectively. I am confident about using it. Of course, with open source, uh, free, you don't get a lot of the, the flashy graphics and you, you don't get the ease of use that you get out of many uh, paid for pieces of software. So 
depending on why you're buying the software, you may be better off spending $50 or $100 on one of the pay-for versions versus trying to use this, uh, this freebie thing. The reason is, is, again, if you have employees or underlings or whatever, it's one thing to give this CD to a highly qualified technician and make sure that they don't do anything stupid. If, if you give this C, CD to you know, somebody in high school or a very, very new tech, they may do something just catastrophically stupid. Uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, you get, all you have to do is follow the prompts, but if any of you have ever had to manage anybody, following prompts can be a little difficult. So that's the main difference between the pay for versions of, re, of Windows reset software and the open source. They both work fine. They both work, yeah, basically completely fine. Uh, the difference is, is the open source free is going to be a lot of text and a lot of reading to make sure you're doing the right thing right. And the, the paid for version is going to be a nice little graphical interface with a couple of buttons and that say click here. So, uh, I mean, that, that's the difference. Basically, uh, what these pieces of software do is they go into the Windows registry to where the passwords are kept on the system. Again, they are not able to recover the passwords. They are not able to read the passwords that are on the system. This software simply allows you to go in and change whatever password is there. So it doesn't know what password is changing. It's just changing whatever's there to whatever you, you want it to be. Uh, this is a simple process. You know, as I'm going to show you, it takes all of about five minutes. And uh, yeah, and, you know, it's, it's, it's easy as long as you know what to do. So, uh, so I'm gonna bring the, the camera over to this laptop computer and we'll do a pretty quick demonstration. So this is the laptop computer. Uh, just to prove to you that there is a password in it, uh, I don't know, not pulling the wool over your eyes, uh, we're to the login screen. And so the user account is, of course, user, and it is asking for a password. Well, we forgot what the password is, or more importantly, our clients forgot what the password is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reboot the system. I have created the CD. This is a what is called a boot CD. So this CD, uh, you're actually able to boot off of it and then run the software that you need to run. Uh, this is just that NT offline password and registry editor software. that in and then we hit restart. Now when this restarts remember we have to press whatever key it is to get to the boot menu because we have to boot off of the CD. So with this one it's F12 as I recall. I guess I press F12 a couple of times preparing one time boot menu. So here we are at the boot menu you know, nothing too complicated. We just go to CD DVD and press enter. And again, this is where it starts asking you questions. And you, I mean, you're looking at text, so you've got to read the text. I've already read the text, so I know all I have to do right now is press enter and it will start. Now, one of the things it was asking you in there was whether or not to to in, uh, to use very many drivers for for setting up on this computer, and this may be a problem that you have with a boot CD. Is if the CD doesn't have the appropriate drivers for the computer, uh, it may cause problems when it's trying to boot up. So you may have to to play with those first settings to to see what if there's any driver issues. Uh, so now it's asking uh, what partition um, do we need to get the password off of? We just select enter. Uh, what is the path to the registry directory? This is a default computer, so it's a default. Enter. Um, password reset. Enter. Uh, edit user data and passwords. Enter. Uh, select. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a user, U-S-E-R, enter. Uh, and what we're going to do here, and this is what I would suggest you do in the real world, instead of messing around and putting in a new password for the user, let do, them do that. Because then if they put in the password and then they forget the password again, it's not your problem. So this gives you option, the option to clear uh, the user password altogether. This is what I would suggest you do. Because if you clear it altogether, they get the computer, they can use it. If they put in a new password and they forget that, then it's on their head. 
if you put in the password that they tell you to put in and then they forget it, then it's on your head. And you know, it shouldn't be that way, but well, it is. Uh, so we just press one. So we're gonna clear the password here, hit enter. And then as we see, uh, it's really quick, password cleared. So there isn't anything else to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do shift pound to quit. Uh, quit. About to write files. And this is one thing that you have to, to make sure you do here, about to write files back. So this is that it's actually writing to the disk. If you do not say yes here, it basically will not save the changes. So the default is no, you say yes, you hit enter, uh, edit complete, you can run if something failed, just hit no, and then we pop the, so now all I do is we do control all delete. It does a nice little boot up. But that is one thing. When you when you reboot your computer, make sure you take the CD out of the computer. If you keep this thing in here, then it will reboot onto the, 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 the boot CD. So just make sure you pop this out before you do the control alt delete and reboot. The welcome screen. Uh, this thing is supposed to get activated. Uh, we'll just do activate later. But as you can see now, it went straight in to the uh, to the computer. So we are, uh, you know, I can go in, I can go on Internet Explorer, I can do whatever I want. The password has been totally and completely cleared. And um, you know, even with me doing this tutorial and talking to you, I mean, what did this take? Uh, it took five minutes and fifteen seconds, according to the camera. So that that's pretty quick. Uh, let me let me put you you back up into position, and then we'll just do some final thoughts on this. So that's all there is to, to resetting a Windows password. All you have to remember is when you are talking to your client uh, to tell them that you can reset the password, you cannot recover it. Recovering is actually finding out what the, the original password is and giving that back to them. You cannot do that. You can simply reset whatever the password is now to a new one. Remember, uh, the only time this really causes a problem is if they use the Windows encrypted file system called EFS. Again, 99.99999% of the world doesn't even know what this is, but on the off chance that, uh, that they are using it, basically, once you reset the password, they'll be able to get into the computer, but any encrypted files or folders uh, will still be off limits to them. They will still be encrypted because the encryption software in Windows uses the password as the key for, for the, the cryptography, they will have to, to find out what their old password is and change the, the password for their user account to the old password to be able to gain access to those encrypted files. Uh, again, using the reset software is, is a last resort type thing. Um, you know, first try to log in uh, in safe mode and try to log in as the administrator with a blank password. Again, it is surprising how many people have completely blank administrator passwords. And if you do that, you know, you, you don't have to mess with any of this because of course this is playing with the registry. This is a Windows computer. And when you play with the registry in Windows computers, really bad, horrible, quirky things can happen. Uh, we've done this a lot. We haven't had many problems, but there's always the possibility. Now there are free uh, versions. That is what I showed you. This one is called NT Offline Password and Registry Editor. And there are pay for versions that cost anywhere between 50 to $100. The difference is they both work about the same. It's, it's the graphics and the ease of use. So if you're trying to find something for you yourself and you're, you're a pretty good technician, then using the NT Offline Password and Registry Editor should be fine for you. If you have employees and they're not willing to read what is presented to them and they, they kind of like skip through processes, then you may want the pay for version because you know having a big nice button in the middle of the screen that says click here uh, may save you a lot, a lot of pain at the end of the day. 
Uh, the one thing with using this software uh, for, for whatever password recovery software you use is always try to shut down the system cleanly. Um, so especially if you have viruses and other things, it's really tempting just to hit that power button and, and just, just kill the power to the computer and shut it down. This software really does need the computer to be shut down cleanly. So even if you can't get the computer to shut down in normal mode, if you log in to safe mode and shut the computer down from safe mode, that, that will still help out and that should uh, fix any problems you have. So just remember that. Uh, make sure you shut down the computer cleanly. And that's, like I said, that, that's all there is to it. Doing the entire demonstration, you know, I looked at the little time up on my, my video bar and I, I think it took five minutes. And that was me explaining to you how to do this. This is a really short, sweet, easy um, process to do. If you run a consultancy or a small shop and you're wondering how much you can charge for a service like this, we charge $99 to do this. Uh, this is something, it's kind of like a knowledge thing. You know, we know how to do it. We took the time and effort to learn how to do it and therefore we are willing to charge you $100 for it. Because although it takes three minutes, you know, it's, it's, it's the expertise. It's, it's why some people make a hundred bucks an hour, some people make five bucks an hour, and other people make a thousand dollars an hour. It's, it's what they know. So knowing how to do this is, you know, it, it, it is worth a little bit of money. The only, the last part um, that I'll just remind you is if the password they forgot was not the Windows password, it was the BIOS password. Uh, that's a different process. The BIOS password is on the motherboard. Usually to reset the BIOS password, all you have to do is either pop out the little CMOS battery on the, the motherboard or, um, or connect this, this, this jumper setting on the motherboard and that will clear uh, the, the, the BIOS password. If they have a BIOS password on a laptop computer, you will have to Google the procedure on how to clear that out. And frankly, if they forget the BIOS password on a laptop computer, they're probably buying a new laptop computer. We talked about that in the, the introduction to data recovery class, but you know, I just figured I'd, I'd go over it again since uh, we're talking about lost passwords. So that is all there is to resetting a Windows password. Again, I'm Eli, the computer guy, and I look forward to seeing you at the next class.